Well, Director Ray, welcome to Las Vegas. We are the entertainment capital of the world. We welcomed nearly 40 million visitors last year. And right now we are getting ready to host Formula One and Super Bowl 58. So I have learned that the FBI has vibrant partnerships with other local law enforcement agencies, including Las Vegas Metro. So what do these partnerships look like? Why are they so important when you're hosting these large scale events? Well, thanks, JJ. It's great to be here with you uh, in Vegas. And, and you're absolutely right that partnerships are uh, really vital to the FBI's success, especially our partnerships uh, with state and local law enforcement and with really fantastic partners like Las Vegas Metro. Uh, the reality is that the threats that we're trying to all protect the American people from these days uh, are so many and so widespread and so uh, evolving that uh, we have to all work together. On the FBI's end, one of the ways that manifests itself uh, is with our task forces. The task force model is something that's very important to us and we think a very successful one where we have task forces that we set up uh, and state and local law enforcement partners and other agencies will send some of their officers to, to work on those task forces with our folks uh, as one team, one fight. So we do that uh, to disrupt terrorist attacks uh, with our joint terrorism task forces. We do that to fight violent crime and gang violence with our uh, safe streets task forces. We now have cyber task forces uh, to disrupt cyber attacks. And uh, just to pick another example uh, that's particularly near and dear to me, we have child exploitation task forces, including a very successful one here in Las Vegas. Uh, to go after predators and, and save kids. The sheriffs, the chiefs, the heads of these other agencies whose own resources are, are very strapped uh, are really making a, a powerful statement by entrusting their officers to come work on our task forces. Uh, and so I'm, I'm humbled by that, I'm, I'm grateful for it, I am, and it's something that we never take for granted. The FBI Citizens Academy is a national program. You invite people from across the country to participate in an eight-week course. And they get to step behind the scenes a little bit and see what it's like to be a special agent. I got to be part of the course in 2020. It was awesome. Uh, I heard you're a big fan of the program. I love the Citizens Academy. I mean, we talked about partnerships with law enforcement, but as you say, uh, it's always been true, but it's more and more true that our partnerships with the public with all the communities we serve have become more and more important. And the Citizens Academy program, in many ways, is really the, the cornerstone of our community outreach program nationally. The thing that I always find very um, inspiring about the Citizens Academy is that you've got people who are very busy, have a lot else going on in their lives, but who are investing the time there's no fame that comes out of it. There's no financial reward that comes out of it. And their only goal, really, is to try to make their communities safer and better, uh, which is really the same mindset that our 38,000 men and women are bringing to the job. I think a lot of people uh, would really enjoy knowing that you have partnerships with four-legged friends as well. And I'm talking about Wally and Geo. So the 1 October shooting, as you know, really shook Las Vegas. And so you have a crisis response canine team uh, that visited here and, and brought their skills. Um, tell me about your connection to this team. I think you have a personal connection to them. Uh, I do. I, so I, I'm, very, I'm a big fan, of course, of, of our entire workforce. But, but those are two uh, employees uh, who are particularly special to me. Wally is a yellow lab. Gio is a black lab. They are, as you say, crisis response canines. They are part of our victim services division and they deploy all over the country uh, in the immediate aftermath of some critical incident or crisis uh, to help support victims and family members. Uh, and they never fail to make people's days uh, brighter. I know they do mine when they come visit my office and my conference room and chase the tennis ball around uh, in the conference room, it's a little disruptive, but I love it. We are obsessed with hockey in Las <laughs> Vegas. You know, our Golden Knights are going to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Like, this is, this is a thing, this is huge. I understand that you're a hockey fan. 
I am a hockey fan. I, uh, I grew up uh, and have very fond memories of growing up going to hockey games, uh, NHL games with my grandfather, with my dad. Uh, and I even played uh, when I was really little, uh, you know, in elementary school and had dreams quickly uh, uh, confronted with reality of, of being an NHL player someday. But by age nine, I realized that was not going to happen. Um, and uh, so I am very excited uh, for the finals. Uh, you got two think closely matched teams. Uh, I don't know about closely. But, uh, but, but yeah. I am, I will say I'm, I'm particularly uh, interested in watching Jack Eichel play because I think he's really uh, in many ways the most promising um, uh, American player uh, in the game right mm -hmm. now uh, and I'm really excited to see what he can do uh, in the final. Awesome. Uh, great to have you in. Thank you so much for spending this time here in Las Vegas. Well, thank you. It's been yes. great to be with you. Great to be with you.